Hello, folks. Thanks for taking a look at uh, my blog this week. Uh, what we're going to cover this week is kind of a simple one. It's uh, uh, about the training files. And if you're in a trial of Solid Edge, uh, if you want to go through some tutorials, or if you're uh, already uh, getting into Solid Edge at a company, where the tutorials are at, uh, specifically like the ones I would use to train students. So let me uh, show you all how to access those. <clears throat> so once Solid Edge is up and running, uh, you know, and this, some of this may uh, cross over with what, uh, with the previous video I did on what GTAC can do for you. Uh, GTAC is Global Technical Access Center, so that's the, uh, that's the help, uh, Siemens helpline. Uh, so you can log in there and create a license file for home use license. Uh, so if you want to do tutorials at home, you can look at that video and it'll show you how to create an account with GTAC. Uh, it'll show you how to uh, create the license file and use it for your home use license. So, you know, I have a bunch of stuff like that out there and also in the video. So let's take a look at what I'm, what I'm referring to with the training file. So there's a couple places to access the file. So depending on how your screen looks, you may not see this immediately, uh, but if I hit the application button up here at the very top and uh, uh, go to uh, settings, options, Helpers, so uh, this is kind of dictating what you see when you start. So there is a start with the learn page. Uh, so to access that, all you got to do is click uh, the application button, switch to the learn page, and it gets you over to here. Uh, again, that's application, learn, uh, and you have the self and training. Uh, we have some other stuff like uh, the Solid Edge parse library, or actually not parse library, but uh, there is a library of online parts for Solid Edge. There's a couple of different uh, vendor um, scenarios here. Uh, there's the what's new, kind of talks about what's new from version to version. Uh, but yeah, there's another try these tutorials first. All right, so let's kick this off. And let's say this might, might as well just be a good place to start. Uh, so this uh, file, again, no login required. So I don't have to create a, a special login to access these. These are just available online. All right, so uh, this one, uh, it, what used to be a uh, kind of a walkthrough, an instructor-led walkthrough that we used to do, but now they kind of turned it into a training uh, scenario. So, like, for, for example, if we want to start the tutorial, uh, you may as well start at the very first one, create a part. So I'm not going to actually go through the tutorial. I just kind of want to show you where to access these at and let me show you how to kind of skip through these to see the different slides. So you, on the left side, you have the panel here to show uh, the, the different steps so we can click through, and it'll basically walk you through it. So if you say, launch the modeling the base feature activity. All right, so it'll kind of give you the steps. Maximize this. Steps, exactly, rectangle by center, click a point in space, and kind of, so it'll walk you literally step by step on creating features and synchronous. Uh, so that's what this whole tutorial does. And again, it'll walk you all the way back through creating an assembly, creating a detailed drawing of that assembly with uh, section views, uh, even to the point where you can actually do a tutorial on simulating a force on uh, one of these so you can walk through the simulation mo uh, model in Solid Edge as well. Uh, so that's kind of a good place to start. You know, it kind of, again, walks you step by step, shows you where to click, that kind of deal. Uh, but another good place to start <clears throat> under help and training Here, <clears throat> speaking of help files, that's what these are. Uh, those, so, so example, if you want to go into design, I'll take you to another web page. Uh, learn the basics, draw a synchronous sketch. <clears throat> so these aren't necessarily tutorials. These are actually more uh, kind of uh, more advanced stuff than you would get actually tutorials. So these are more of help file type scenarios. Draw an assembly layout. You know, there's, that's it. So. Uh, these are just kind of explanations of what the commands are, uh, not necessarily the tutorials themselves. All right, if you are looking for that, so let me get back out here. On the left side here, so these are the help files. Uh, so this accesses to the help. Second step, training. So this actually does take you to the training. Uh, so let's take a look at just assembly courses and just pick the first one here, assembly patterning. So these are actually tutorials. Uh, so these launch a course. Uh, again, this is still on a web page, uh, so we're looking at assembly patterning, <clears throat> and we want to just walk through the steps here. 
and it gets into the introduction again you know kind of explaining how to page through here and launch the some of the things that we're going to say here download the activity files uh, so this is actually will download all the solid edge files that you need as a zip file for this particular uh, for this particular activity so if I just launch this again maximize it so uh, here again we have seven pages of creating an assembly doing some or it's creating assembly pattern kind of deal uh, so yeah so that is one another way to access training files so overall these uh, let me close these back out uh, these take you to uh, I'm sure why it's in that take you to a different set so let me show you uh, the other one that's in built into solid edge so this one you typically access through uh, a, a template so let me go into creating a new template application uh, let's create an empty int parts all right so this could be a little confusing so let me explain what's going on here so we have a help file here and we also have the help file up here so uh, this one's grayed out and the reason why is because it's active currently in my pathfinder or my edge bar I should say uh, so if this was happened to be closed out well okay now it's out of my edge bar but my pathfinder or excuse me my little uh, help file up here is now active so that takes me to the same place uh, so it may be pinned or unpinned uh, so you may be able to access it from one of these locations to the other all right so now we come over here we'll say choose a learning path again this takes you to another location that doesn't require uh, this uh, a login and this kind of takes you along a different style of path uh, so let's just take a look at the first one choose the learning path based on your experience all right so are you new to CAD uh, are you a SolidWorks user previously uh, you transition <clears throat> transitioning from the ordered environment into the synchronous environment uh, so let's just take a look at new to CAD so click there again this will start a tutorial that's taking a little second to load uh, but again it's looking at some of the same type of files that you looked at earlier to do this with here we go so some of these actually have videos that are attached to them uh, so you can uh, fast forward through these videos so these are inactive you don't have to just have to start from the beginning every time so you if you do stop in the middle of one you can just fast forward to where you left off uh, so these again have videos some don't some actually just have the uh, work walkthrough so let me go back out and show you what I'm referring to all right so let's go into the last one here choose a self-paced course based on what you know I like this one here because it kind of takes you to everything so uh, we have the fundamentals course so this is the actual courseware that I would use to train students with so if you're a beginner uh, a lot of this stuff would be very useful for creating uh, sketching uh, how to get around the user interface uh, and if you want to scroll to the very bottom of this page uh, we have the instructor led courses so the fundamentals uh, sheet metals broken out into its own course uh, as well as kind of an assembly we do have assembly and fundamentals but it's more of just putting uh, some parts together uh, the different relationships and how to manipulate them and that's pretty much the extent of it uh, this one would actually take you I believe into uh, doing patterns uh, maybe even rendering uh, or exploded views possibly uh, so so for example let's go into the fundamentals uh, we have the PDFs that we can download uh, the PowerPoint uh, activity data set again you can download a, a zip file of all the assemblies and part files that you would be using for that particular tutorial And be running kind of slow uh, but again these at the very top uh, at the very top of the page here the fundamental courses are just individual modules that are broken out from this entire fundamentals course so this is a 1400 page PDF I believe uh, somewhere in that uh, range so that's why I had it opened it because it takes a while um, for some reason can't close that uh, but for example let's go into sketching so this will launch you to the sketch course so some of these again have video some don't some are just uh, just kind of uh, follow along uh, so again we have the video uh, and it's creating a simple drawing simple sketch again these each have 
a page of walking through step by step where to click, using relationships, how to constrain your profiles. Uh, so again, very useful for first time users. Uh, so that is kind of where all the training files are coming from in Solid Edge. Uh, so it, it may be a little confusing that uh, it, it's in so many different locations and they take you to so many different things. Uh, but uh, again, it's kind of good that we do offer so many uh, different options here uh, to, to access. Uh, again, some of these will actually be the same ones that you just saw. Uh, some are, are different completely. So again, thank you for taking a look and uh, appreciate it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at Swoosh Technologies. All right, thank you folks.